Hi students, welcome back to the English class. Fifth class students, all of you can take your English test book. We are going to learn from the unit 7 a poem. The title of our poem is Topsy Turvy Land. Okay, once again I will repeat Topsy Turvy Land. Okay, this Topsy Turvy means upside down. Upside down. You can see in this page say so many pictures are there then all these things are upside down okay you can see a picture here is a man who is walking with his head okay means he is upside he is now down he is walking with the head and in his legs you can see feet there is a hat where we have to put actually the hat we have to put the hat or cap in our head but here is is in the leg okay then you can see in the picture that the school boat the, the boat here is boat it is in the road then the buses are on the See in the water the buses. Okay. Then you look at this picture. The bed and everything is disorder. Okay. You can see disorder means this topsy turvy means upside down. Okay. Then there is a land called upside down land. That, that is the title of our chapter. Topsy turvy land. Okay. Now let us read it. Have you ever thrown your school bag on your bed? Have you ever left your shoes and socks here and there? Have you ever played with your ball in your room? Does your room sometimes look like this? Okay, there, these uh, questions are asking you. Have you ever thrown your school bag on your bed? Okay, we actually, we wear you how to put your school bag on the bed? Never. You should put the, uh, or some in corner of the room or some table on the table you can put, okay. Where it is uh, comfortable you have to put then. Shoes and socks, where you have to put shoes and socks you should put in order. Then uh, ball, have you ever played ball in your room? No, never we play the ball in the room. We will play in the ground only. Then asking does your, some, does your room sometimes look like this means uh, the rooms are very the, uh, very uh, untidy, not uh, clean, not uh, it is not uh, in order. Okay. Then in this poem is saying that there is a land called Topsy Turvy Land. Okay. Now let us go to see what are the things in Topsy Turvy Land do different than other la our land. Okay. Okay. Now let us go to read the poem. Now read about one such upside down land. Okay, we said already topsy turvy means upside down. Okay, then land. The people walk upon their heads. The sea is made of sand. The children go to school by night in topsy turvy land. Okay, these four lines are saying that in topsy turvy land or upside down land we can see the people walk upon their heads that is you can see in the picture then the sea is the sea is actually full of water but here is in this land the sea is sand only sand we can find then the children go to school by night Actually, the children in our land, we, when we will go to the children's school, the children go to school at day, in, in, the, in a day we will go. But in this topsy turvy land, the children go to school at night. Okay, the next lines. The friend door step is at the back. Okay, the friend door of friend door step will be in the back side. You are walking when you stand. Okay. You are walking when you stand. You wear your hat upon your feet. In topsy turvy land. Okay. Again the these lines are saying the front door will be the front door step will be the back side. Then the people walk with the hand. Uh, with the feet. Instead of feet the people walk with the uh, head and the people wear hat or cap in the feet. Where it is? It is in the topsy turvy land. Okay, the next lines. 
and buses on the sea you will meet while pleasure boats are planned to travel up and down the streets of topsy turvy land okay this lines is saying that buses will be in the sea you can meet the buses in the sea side see and the pleasure boat means the pleasure boat means the trip in the boat we will do that is called a pleasure boat means the large trip uh, ships uh, we used for the trips okay then this fish boats will be in the road then to travel up and down the streets okay the people will uh, travel in the street upside will be down where it is it is in the where only in the topsy turvy land okay the last line you pay for what you never get i think it must be grant for when you go you are coming back in topsy turvy land okay what are the other things you pay for what you never get just pay but you will not be get you pay for what you never get i think it must be grand okay they will give the things in grand without money for when you you are coming back okay when you go you are coming back means you go and it means in turvy turvy land means coming back okay this is only the poem once again i will read the people walk upon their heads the sea is made of sand the children go to school by night in topsy turvy land the friend door step is at the back you are walking when you stand you wear your hand upon your feet in topsy turvy land and buses on the sea you will meet while pleasure boats are planned to travel up and down the streets of topsy turvy land you pay for what you never get i think it must be grand for when you go you are coming back in topsy turvy land the poem is written by h e wilkin son okay take everyone the next page there are word meaning everyone should write the question answer i will send in the whatsapp okay then the difference between topsy turvy land our land that is also i will send in the whatsapp everyone read and find out the word meaning okay the next page there is something we you have to write the words let's talk okay the exercise let's talk the words in the sentence are jumbled here means in the sentences here is jumbled means it's not in right order it is not in a complete sentence means sentence is complete but not in order there is no structure you can say rearrange them to make a meaningful sentence okay then we have to write in a meaningful sentences okay let us see renu naughty is a girl okay this is only group of words it has no complete meaning okay how we can write this in complete meaning renu is a naughty girl okay second one untidy room her always is okay how we can write this sentence in order her room is always untidy okay third one mother her advises her to clean to it her mother advises her to clean it her mother advises her to clean it the fourth one never listens she her mother to she never listens to her mother kind of what child a you are what kind of a child you are you what kind of a child what kind of a child are you okay okay the next page there is also let's write write five things that you do at home to make your home look, uh, look neat and clean okay what are the things uh, we will do in our home to make our clean, room clean and tidy okay um, we can write in a sentence this one you have to write in sentence what are the things you sweep the room sweep the room every day then clean the bed sheets okay keep the bed and the bed sheets properly clean the toilets okay then chairs and sofas and the tables should be put in order okay these are the things you can write in this okay students 
okay the next exercise here is one three that is stories uh, three number three number three the stories two stories are mixed this one you can do yourself the stories in order okay you have you can write in order okay students this only the chapter please everyone study read the chapter i will send in the uh, whatsapp the notes okay study unit five six seven for the uh, pt3 exams okay students thank you please read the chapter